about to go down with a man challenge. Okay. Let's go. Check it. Me, man, I'm saying no man, this gonna be crazy. My eyes are hazy, and my brain not working out. Then we put shops on a heartbeat, it can never really phase me. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so let me introduce who the man is. Now, on, on that song, I was talking about some man and who the man. There's only one man, and there's only one of his kind. All of us are just, we are just copies, really. He is the original man. He is the oracle, Daniel Cranton. How are you doing, man? <laughs> how, how do you feel? How do you feel knowing that, knowing that someone sat down and thought of your greatness and put together who the man? Grateful. Yeah, it was fantastic. It's fantastic. Yeah. It's wonderful stuff. You're so talented, me. <laughs> and I will bless you. I'm, I'm happy. You know, your tips have been helpful. Yeah, I'm, I can see. I'm, I'm competing in a particular league, and I was down by over a hundred points. And I saved you. I'm now like only 16 behind. And I saved you. Yeah, you, saved you, you saved me. Yeah. You saved my campaign. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so what's happening this weekend? It's week 11. Yeah, week 11, five players. First one. I think this is the first time he's featuring in my list this season. Yeah. Marcus Rashford. Rashford. I cannot Manchester believe United. it. Rashford of all people. Yeah. Um, United have a game away at Bournemouth. Rashford is on form. He must admit two midweek against Chelsea. He scored once against um, Norwich City, missed the penalty in that okay. one. But he looks like he's on form. Manchester United okay. are on a roll. Rashford even scored in the previous game against Liverpool. So he scored in his last three games for Manchester United. And there are stories though that he could have, he may have picked up a knock against Chelsea. Yes, league. but nothing has been confirmed yet. Okay. If anything, I'm sure he would, he would be in the starting lineup. And against Bournemouth, you expect Manchester United to continue their okay. good form. And obviously, if the way United are playing, Rashford is obviously the man you, you should go to. Okay. Also, because he's on set pieces, he's on free kicks, he's on penalties also. I mean, he's just got one free kick out of it. That's a total of three. <laughs> he has scored for three. Look, he has scored for one. It United. could be the beginning of good things. You never know. The next player is Liz Mousset. Okay. Yeah. Sheffield. Sheffield United striker. Now, um, his manager, Chris Wilder, just gave him the, the nod. To be starting up front, he scored two in his last two games. Ahead of Oli McBurn. Ah, ahead of Oli McBurn, and he's done. He's he's done what he's supposed to do. Two and two. He scored against Arsenal. He scored last week also. Mm -hmm. And with a home game coming up against Burnley, you expect him to continue that good form. He's quick. He's very very yeah. prolific as a stance. He's on form. And players like this usually go on a streak. And you always want to have them when they're on the okay. streak because when the goes dry up. <laughs> yeah, like the same with Pookie. <laughs> with Pookie, exactly. The next player is Mope. Okay. He's facing Pookie's Norwich yeah. at home. Neil Mope. Yeah, he's 40 points so far. He's been under the radar a bit. I can see that today's mix happens to be a mix of outliers, players you never ever think of. Yeah, and, and, and that's also obviously give you an advantage in the Fantasy Premier League. As it stands, in fact, as the, the, the weeks go on, a lot of people start to get similar teams. So these are sort of the, differential. the differentials in, 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 in the game and just to get them and get them okay. not ahead of you of your competitors. So a home game for him against Pugis Norwich. Now, Norwich are conceding for fun. They are all over the place. And with 40 points already in the Fantasy League this season, and for a team like Brighton, it's, it's actually a very, very good score for him. He's gone under the radar, kind of cheap also for 6 million. So you should bring him on board. Then my very good friend Sadio Mane features this week again. Liverpool <laughs> because are Liverpool are on the road. <laughs> they are on the road at Aston Villa. His, his away form is absolutely fantastic. Form. What accounts for this? Look, I, 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 I really don't know because it's, it's, it's certainly not tactical. I just think he's, he's, he just has that thing in him. Obviously, when they are playing at home, Mohamed Salah tends to, try, to thrive at, at home at Anfield. He tends to get more of the points and more goals at Anfield. But on the road, it looks like Mane is the man. From dating back from last season to this season, Mane is the man you have to go to when Liverpool are playing away from home. He's one of my captain picks. The next captain pick is Raheem Sterling at home. Um, this this particular weekend, he's facing a team that conceded nine last yeah, year. Yeah, I mean, Southampton Southern only conceded three in the cup game. Yeah, against the weekend Manchester City team. Look, there were children basically <laughs> playing in that game, but they still managed to have a very comfortable and, and, and run away and three one winners. But you expect Manchester City to get more goals in this particular one. Conceding nine goals will obviously crash you, it will demoralize you. Okay. Um, Hassan Hootel has been talking about his side getting nasty and trying to stop Manchester well, yeah. City. But you look at Southampton and the way they are set up to play, they are not that team that can come back and 
come in and, and, and sit and be compact. So they will certainly concede. And Raheem Sterling looks like he's picked up form again. He is somebody that when he's getting points, he's really getting them. And this is a sort of fixture that you lick your lips in. And if you have him in, go ahead and get and captain him because if he's getting them, he's really going to get them. Okay, so Rashford, Mousset, Mope, Mane, and Sterling. And Raheem, Raheem Sterling. And you're saying that the captain pick is Raheem Sterling? Raheem Sterling and Sadio. Mane. Okay, either one. Either one. Okay, no Spurs players this week, I see. Mm -mm. They go to Everton. <laughs> <laughs> you can choose to have them. Anyway, Daniel, thank you very much. That was the FPL Zone. Daniel Cranting, the man, giving us the tips for this weekend. And do follow his tips. Great stuff. If you follow his tips, they'll work. I'm telling you, I'm speaking from experience. Wait, Nathan. So, yeah. Just say it for the last time. That but, I saved you. Yeah, you saved my yeah, FPL. I like, I like the I like sound. Like <laughs> All right, that's our FPL Zone for this week. Um, we'll take a short break. When we come back, I'll be dragging the guys back in for their predictions ahead of match week 11. This is still the Premier League preview show.